Hello everyone, welcome to the Asim Chabra Show. My name is Asim Chabra. I'm a freelance journalist and I'm on the board of the South Asian Journalist Association. Today we have a different kind of a guest, a musician, a jazz musician, Rudresh Mahanthapa. Rudresh uh, plays the saxophone and this year has been a fantastic year for him. He had two albums come out last year and this year Downbeat Magazine, the critics poll, he was named the uh, rising star jazz artist and the rising star alto saxophonist, which are two amazing uh, rec you know, forms of recognition, and also the Jazz Journalists Association named him the Alto Saxophonist of the Year this year again in 2009, and great for the journalists. So, Rudresh, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Asim. It's great to be here. It's great to be to see you. Um, let's let's first talk about your background as a jazz musician and why jazz. I was, uh, you know, thinking about the fact that if somebody wanted to become a, a, a lawyer, for instance, they go to law school, or you do an MBA, or you study history, but music jazz especially or any kind of music really there's a lifelong commitment you know training starting from a very very early period and talk to us about your life well I, that's interesting you know i mean i think people do learn music from a young age and generally uh and to choose it as a career path is maybe something that comes later you know i think for me you know uh i think i knew i wanted to be you know a lifelong musician when i was in ninth grade or so but uh I didn't start expressing that out loud, especially to my parents, <laughs> until later in high school. But, you know, I started playing, uh, you know, recorder. Everybody learns recorder in elementary school, you know. But I actually really liked it and came home and told my mom that I wanted to take, you know, private recorder lessons. So I was, you know, learning Baroque recorder, you know, when I was five <laughs> years old for, for two or three years. And... Um, Recorder translates to the saxophone very easily because it's very much the same finger position and the same fingering. And um, you know, my older brother played clarinet, and so I was listening to him practice for as long as I can remember. And uh, he always regretted that he couldn't play in the jazz band because he felt like the guys there was no even though there is clarinet and jazz very much. The Allen plays Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but in the um, in the traditional, you know, jazz band setting, big band setting, there isn't usually a full-time clarinet player. But the thing that he said that stuck with me was he said, and the jazz band looks like more fun. And of course, you know, as an eight-year-old, I heard fun. And, <laughs> so, and I had a really wonderful teacher growing up in, in Boulder, Colorado. Very young, very kind of free-thinking teacher who, um, who introduced me to lots of different kinds of music, you know. It wasn't just, it wasn't like I was listening to Charlie Parker and Miles Davis, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, he was turning me on to all sorts of stuff. Your parents, uh, what profession did they practice? And I'm curious about how do you go to an Indian American parent? What kind of music you were listening to, and how do you break this news? By the way, I'm going to become a musician. Uh, I, I think it's kind of like pulling off a band aid. You know, you have to do it all in one swoop, and you know, bear the consequences. Um, yeah, my dad's a physics professor, uh, and he was part of a very early wave of immigrants. He came in the '50s when people were mainly coming, you know, for grad school. He did his PhD at Harvard. He came over on a, a Dutch cargo ship. You know, very kind of romantic immigrant story mm -hmm. actually <laughs> and uh, you know I think by being an academic the, he had a certain openness as well I mean he wasn't like a business guy you know it wasn't like there was some sort of clear path of getting an MBA or getting an MD mm -hmm. or going to law school or becoming an engineer you know it was a it was kind of more open and yeah I mean I think it's clear that it's a non-conventional profession for you know for an Indian American Less so now, but more, you know, back when I was, you know, going to college for sure. Um, but the reality is I don't think any parent wants their kid to come home and say, I want to be a musician. But, <laughs> or an you know, actor. Yeah, or an actor or a writer, you know, any number of, of arts or humanities. Um, but I think we, it was actually when we were talking about uh, SATs and PSATs or something like that. And I said, well, you know, that doesn't really matter, Dad. I'm going to be a musician. And, and that's when it was like, oh, you know. <laughs>